So yeah, I'm hiding with this ghillie suit and in the, today's video I want to try out if it's possible to spot me easily with a thermal device. I will even use vegetation, which I already have on the ghillie suit, and I will spray my suit with water to see if I can cool it down effectively. Yeah, it's important to note the performance of the thermal device depends on the model and also on the environment, so which temperature I'm in and so on. Right now it's 15 degrees Celsius. When you are, for example, in a desert, the difference between body heat and the environment is super small, so it can be harder to spot someone. But right now, with 15 degrees Celsius, there's a big difference between environment and my body heat. At first, let's take a look at me standing in a forest with like normal clothing. A camouflage uniform is always only a base for camouflage. Of course, a backpack and tactical gear has got a different thermal signature, but the arms and the legs remain almost the same. Even with some vegetation in front of me, you can see how easy it is to spot me because of my thermal signature. You can see the fabric which is closer to my body will heat up more than the fabric of the pockets, for example. Now let's try the ghillie suit. The ghillie suit was placed on the ground for some time, so you can see it's still relatively cold, but it will heat up as soon as it's on my body. Check the legs, you will see they are now hot. And the back is the same. At first let's try to hide without any vegetation on the ghillie suit. So here, not well hidden, you are able to find me, and with the thermal camera, even easier to find me. Now let's hide behind some bushes, but with a loophole, so I can see the camera. But with the thermal camera, it's also quite easy to find me. When we now take a look at the ghillie suit. So on the hood there's some material which is quite far away from my body. Also on my butt there is material hanging loose. But on the shoulders it's touching my body and also on the legs it's really close to my body heat. And also if you look at my hands they are super bright shining. You can avoid heating up by insulation which will be annoying in summer. You can add some ventilation or let's try to cool it down with water. So here we just spray some water on the ghillie suit. The water cools down the material almost immediately. But of course you can not always carry water around and cool down your ghillie suit from time to time. But yeah, let's try it out how it looks. On the top of my head, I don't have that much loose hanging fabric, so yeah, my body heat heats up the water and the wet camouflage net on my head. But you can clearly see the wet material makes a pattern. So let's see how I can hide after just one spot. For these tumble videos, I'm using a Pulsar device. I got this from Kyla Gear. Make sure to check the description and visit their website. They sell these. The water clearly helps to change the signature, but overall it's still possible to see me, especially when I'm moving around. When I get closer to the ground and there's some more vegetation in front of me, it will be harder to spot me. So indeed, we have some camouflage. And camouflage is not invisibility. Yeah, and underneath the ghillie suit, I'm still hot, and here you can see how the material of the ghillie suit is completely heaten up. So yeah, even spraying it with water was not as effective, since where the material touches the body, it will heat up, no matter if there is water or not. And even if you cool down some degrees, it's not a big benefit since the temperature difference between the nature and my wet body is still so huge that it's super easy to spot for this device. Yeah, now, if you have a ghillie suit where you have a lot of burlap, really a lot of volume, this would work better. But then 
when it rains it gets heavy and so on. So my heated suit right here is only with some burlap and mainly with camouflage netting. But now I want to attach a lot of natural vegetation from my surrounding and then let's try how it looks. But the problem will be the face again because as soon as you want to be able to see something you have to look there and the eyes and the face is super hot. Yeah, so this is the problem. But let's see if I can turn myself into only small eyeballs shining out. <laughs> let's try how it will look with a lot of vegetation. Vegetation has got some moisture inside, so it can cool down by itself. But of course, it can also be heaten up. For example, here you can see the grass I'm attaching is already heaten up by my hands. And also my knee and my whole body heats up the material and also the water in the vegetation. But indeed the water helps the vegetation to cool down again. Here let's look at the ghillie suit when it's now not heating up. Yeah, I want to mention I have only attached natural vegetation to the hood and to the shoulder area since these parts are the most important parts and it's enough to show the effect in this video. And when we now take a look at the back, you can see my body heat is still shining through all the grass. So I would need to attach even more vegetation to reduce the signature even more. Now I lay down super flat, head against the ground and behind some vegetation. But as soon as I move my head to see the camera, I'm still giving away some of my heat signature. And this is still a super big improvement compared to the ghillie suit without any vegetation. And also in this video the distance is super small in a military environment usually the distance should be bigger. Of course it's not always bigger but it should be. Now let's turn around and sit down and you can see the cold grass and the wet burlap helps to really reduce the signature I'm giving away and especially the hood which is relatively far away from the body cools down. But the fabric in the front and on the arms is still super hot. Also here you can see the pattern and the wet burlap and the grass on the ghillie suit is even colder than the environment. Now let's go on a bit further distance and hiding behind some vegetation. So yeah, still visible. Especially when there is movement, it's quite easy to identify a silhouette like this as a human being. But now let's try the quick tip with the emergency blanket. And let's see how it looks in the thermal. Both sides of the emergency blanket can reflect the signature of the environment. So even the bright shining side can give camouflage in the thermal spectrum. So when you are in the forest, it can work quite well. When you have clear sky above you, it can be yeah, super black and super white and give away your position. But all in all, it will hide your signature. But again, as soon as you touch the material, it will heat up and you can see the heat signature again, but still hiding the signature quite well. So for today, at these conditions, it was, let's say, impossible to hide from this thermal camera with this ghillie suit. As soon as you wear something on the body, it will heat up. When you make an OP and have something hanging somewhere, it's easier, but with a suit on the body it will just heat up and with now 50 degrees celsius the difference between the environment and the body heat is big so it's super easy to get spotted by a thermal device yeah make sure to subscribe 
if you want to stay tuned because I will also try this out at a sunny day when the vegetation and the ground is heated up by the sun and I'm really curious how the systems or the camouflage will work in these conditions. So thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to be watched by you again. Bye!